Hey everyone, welcome to Spring Fair. We actually won this booth as part of Small Business Sunday with Theopathetis. We're lucky enough to be having gifted this. It's been amazing for us so far. We've had so many different opportunities, leads, sales agents, the whole nine yards coming towards us, and they get a chance to actually check out our sock wall, check out our new socks, our point of sale stands, and we're really hopeful that we're gonna actually also have the chance to, and opportunity to have a chat with Theo as well. So, Small Business Sunday is this amazing initiative done by Theopathetis. Every Sunday, you can pitch on Twitter so it's literally just a tweet worth of pitch add some photos and the aim is to become part of the SBS crew so I won this in October 2021 and um, I pitched to them I pitched to them every week until I won it once you're part of the crew you get to go to their annual conference and you also get the chance to be a part of Spring Fair so this is a competition they run every year for the SBS winners so we won this stand that we're here at a trade show which is an amazing opportunity so much so that we're thinking we're going to come back next year and actually pay to be at the stand that's how worthwhile it has been so check out SBS Saturday Sunday on Twitter is really worthwhile, really easy to do, and it's been amazing, amazing network as well. So I really recommend that you check it out. So I thought it'd be really useful to give you some advice on how I actually won the pitch with SBS and got the chance to win a stand at Spring Fair. So every week I went on Twitter. At 5 p.m. the SBS crew come out and say, pitch to us, pitch your business, your products, your ideas to us. And we'll pick, I think it's five winners every week to be a part of the crew. So I went on every week relentlessly and pitched my business. And so you've only got a tweet worth of pitch to do it in so it's quite like simple but I think it's really crucial to hit a few key things when you're doing this pitch so make sure you're really standing out from the crowd what is your USP so obviously we focused on the fact that we're saving animals with our socks that became a key focus of it I always included um, photos as well so the imagery is key too so think about the kind of lifestyle imagery if you're a product business because they do services as well so if you're a product business can you have photos of people using your product make sure it stands out is it bright is it colorful and just change it up each week because I think it's it's just a missed opportunity if you're not trying it so try something different each week and just keep going until you get it because I think I'm just thinking it from the terms of the SBS crew are going to be looking at these tweets every week I like to think that they've sat down and seen my brand each time and then eventually they've been like okay we'll let her win this week this was a good tweet so um, I think just keep going for it it's a really worthwhile opportunity it's free there's an amazing network and we've won a trade show stand off the back of it so I really recommend checking it out it's SBS crew on Twitter uh, through Thea Pavitas so check it out on Sundays every every Sunday at 5 p.m. <laughs> Twelve of our fantastic SPS winners. Let's have a look around. Hi, I'm, I'm Lucy. Hello, Lucy. So, so has it been good? Amazing. Amazing. We've been so busy. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. This is our first trade show, and we'll be doing more because of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the whole point. I mean, yeah. You know, there's a, a trade between us and a spring fair where. I do a speaking engagement for them, they don't pay me. Oh, we're they, so grateful they, for they, it, yeah. Honestly, they what give an opportunity. Yeah. I yeah. then recycle those into the SBS community. It's incredible. It's yeah. so and good. People find out whether a trade show works or it doesn't work. Whereas otherwise, you're taking a gamble and you don't know. But this way, you say, I'm going to give them my best shot. Absolutely. And, and have you got some awards? Yeah, yeah lots well, of I think we're on like leads. three or four now. Today. that have gone through yeah. over the over the course so far. So pretty happy with that. Loads and there's lots of leads. Of leads. Yeah. Lots, to ch lots to chase up. Lots to Good. chase up. But Where are you yeah. guys from? He's from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Kent. <laughs> yeah. Where did you come from this week? Uh, well, we actually came from Australia. Australia. <laughs> For this. For this, yeah. 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 Well, because yeah. we're spending three months, three months, and then obviously won this with SBS. You're based in Australia. We're between, we're between. We're between. So I'm, yeah. I'm UK born and bred, and Andy's from Australia, and we're trying to emigrate. So we're, but we're trying to set down roots out here. there. But the right. business is UK based. But we're, you know, worldwide. We're online, online seller. Right. So, Where do you yeah. make it? Yeah. Turkey, Turkey, and we're moving to China and India as well. So right. we're really, we're growing. So you'll be able to do, do, do this from Australia. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. We're a remote team. Yeah. And why are you going to Australia? Part of who's Australia? I, I love it there. <laughs> He obviously didn't because he left and came to the UK. We met in Birmingham. That's where we met in Birmingham. In Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a treat going around our old haunts and yeah. you know, whining and dining again. Yeah. What, were you uni or something? Yeah. No, no, we, we, we had used to work HSBC. for HSBC. Yeah. Oh, right. That was what we were doing before socks. <laughs> yeah. Give this and a go. Yeah, natural. Of course, yeah, natural, natural yeah. progression, yeah. Good really luck. appreciate I it, Theo. Thank you so you. much. Thank you. I hope Australia works out for you. Thank you. Thanks, Theo. Really appreciate your time, mate. you going back next week. Well, good luck. I hope it's worked out for you. Oh, this is amazing. amazing. Thank you for the opportunity, Thanks Theo. So much. Hey, guys. So we've actually just met with Theo. Um, 
can't believe it. He took some of our socks, um, gonna give it to his family and friends, which is awesome. Um, it's still kind of around there, so won't speak too loud, but honestly being so lucky that uh, Theo's kind of, he's, he's so generous. So basically, he does a speech once a year and he gets awarded 12 stands at the Spring Fair. Yeah, for the SBS. So as I was saying before about the SBS thing where you pitch and you win and then we won this stand. So all because of him. So what a guy. Get that guy a knighthood. Get that guy a knighthood. <laughs> How is he not at it? <laughs> Wow, what a few days. So we came to this trade show on Sunday. It's now Tuesday, we've got one more day and it has been crazy busy. We've been speaking to people all day, every day since we started, so we're knackered, but it's amazing. What an amazing opportunity. And this is our first trade show, so actually we've now realized how good it is for us to kind of show the product, showcase it to these buyers that are coming around. We've spoken, we've got some amazing leads and orders. So we've signed up, we're doing Harrogate um, Home and Gift. Um, in July, so we've already signed up for that. We're thinking about do we do Autumn Fair, there's a gardening show that's up in the NEC in September as well, so really crazy, but what an opportunity for us, right? Should be amazing. Yeah, oh, it's so exciting. Let's <laughs> have a big smile. Keep waving, keep waving, keep waving, keep waving, keep waving, keep waving, keep waving. Would you recommend the SBS Spring Fair competition to My name is Lucy and my business is Bear Kind. We sell bamboo socks that save endangered animals. How did you feel when you found out you won a place in Spring Fair? So when I found out I won a place at Spring Fair... So guys, we are wrapping up Spring Fair. It's been absolutely incredible. There's a few things that we're going to do to make sure that we really nail it over the next couple of months, even weeks, and apparently years. So we are going to do a couple of things. Number one, we've got a follow-up database. We've taken a whole bunch of notes on every single one of our leads, individualized, we'll be reaching out to them. They're multiple hundred, multiple thousand pounds, tens of thousand pound orders, so it's going to be worth us investing that time. We've taken down things like, you know, what type of animal do they like? Perhaps they're interested in our cows. They might be a farm shop, so they're thinking about our sheep, for example, as well. And so we've got a whole variety of opportunities that we're gonna go after there. Number two, we've actually done a virtual video trade show. So we've gone through the entire stand. We've shared everything that we've got on the wall. We've got all of our point of sale stands, our paraphernalia like posters, etc., and even some of our new socks, which are right down here. Hopefully, with any luck, um, that should resonate with people that weren't able to come down to Spring Fair. So we'll hit up our existing mailing list, we'll be going on all of our B2B online marketplaces and sharing that details with them, which I think will really hit nicely as well. I think it's going to give a, a great sense that not only is Bearkind great in the, in the online world, but it's also hitting the right marks in the physical world. And the third thing we're gonna do is follow up on these trade shows by going to more. They've been an absolute stonking success for us. We've been able to actually get some preferential pricing with Home and Gift through Harrogate, which will be amazing, a great show for us, lots of independence. We're also then looking at what we're gonna be doing in September, a bit closer to Christmas, which is obviously a game busters time for us selling socks. We've got our Christmas range kind of already from last year. We're gonna be doubling and tripling that coming into Spring Fair and Autumn Fair next year. So we're thinking about what we're gonna do with that, especially given it's a kind of a week after our wedding. I'm not sure if we'll make it, but I'm really hoping that we will. I also wanted to share what we've done to make this trade show a great success for us. Some of this might have already heard of it, the other stuff I think is a bit unique that we've not seen other people talk about. Number one, we've done heaps of content on this. So we've gone all over our LinkedIn, which has mean that heaps of people have come visited our stands, which I didn't really think too much about, but when you've got people here, it means that it's more comfortable for other people to come. And so it kind of this nice virtuous cycle. We've had so many people say, you guys are always so busy. I don't know, you know, should I come over or not? And really the answer is we've been busy pretty much most of it, but that's definitely been helped with family, friends, other trade acquaintances coming over and saying hello. The second thing has been our database. We've obviously got emails, names of companies, but we've gone into a bit more detail, kind of really anything off the top of our dome after we finish up with someone, we write it all down, whack it in the database, and we go into a bit more detail there. It's quite individualized. It's not as databasey as everyone else is saying, but that's kind of what we think is gonna work really well for us. The third thing is actually this magnificent sock wall. So we put a lot of time and effort into it, so much so that we're gonna now start offering it to our customers uh, on the retail space directly. We've had incredible feedback, and so I think that's something that when you're thinking about your stand, you've obviously got 
our existing point of sale stand infrastructure, which you'd obviously pop up, but then the ability to add additional kind of space, get really in front of people with a splash of color, I think is an awesome opportunity. We've also had a couple of unexpected opportunities. Number one would be sales agents. We've been looking for sales agents probably for the past year, I'd say. And we've now gotten this to the space where we've got two that have actually applied to work with us. They came over, they spent the time, they understood our brand, and we're looking to do a trial relationship with them. One in Scotland, another one in Wales, and then a potential one also down in the Southwest. So that's you know, 30,000, 50,000 pounds worth of sales for us, which could be fantastic. And I'm more than happy to pay commission when we've got a fantastic sales agent working for us. The second thing is actually getting a fresh new idea on what we should be doing with our displays. Walking around, there's been some incredible displays that we've seen. I think my favorite one that I'm thinking about is a massive floor standing unit, a couple hundred socks on there, get that done in wood, FSC, make it certified, and then just trying to work out how can I make that work for a retailer. So obviously we will sell it at cost, but then we'll chuck in a whole bunch of socks on top of that. So a retail could essentially get that for free if they sold, say, 20 pairs of socks would be 200 pounds. And so they could make the cost of that floor standing unit back just like that. Just these small kind of top hints that you get from people who have been in the industry for years. So that's what we did to follow up to make our trade show successful and the unexpected things that we've discovered in this spring fair. And I'm really excited that we could share with it. I wish we'd had something that we could have watched like this before we went. So if you guys have any great suggestions, please like, subscribe, and any suggestions, leave them in the comments below.